Okay, let me get. Uh, I gotta. There we go. Hi, Frank. Hi, Pat. How you Good doing? Good morning, Frank. How come you? How come you don't have mittens and and uh, and earmuffs on? And it's because it's cold outside. Is it cold <laughs> out? <laughs> I'm gonna go out after a while. Yeah. The uh, all of the. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's fall, and it the weather's uh, the weather's certainly proving that for sure. Yes, it is. So anyway, Frank, good morning. Good morning to all. Um, and, and once again, thank you for anyone who stops by and visits us. And uh, uh, once again, uh, the, the, the purpose of this is for my brother Frank and I to just give out words of encouragement uh, and, and, and to just know that, you know, you are prayed for because we do. And that you're cared for because you are. Frank, I was spending. I got and I and as you know, I'm just it's like I just say, God, please tell me where to go, what to do. And man, I'll tell you, this morning was was neat because it was there's just no question about it. It was it was the book of Romans. Another incredible um, book that was written by Paul who I'm still just he had to have lived a thousand years on his own because of everything he wrote <laughs> writing and, takes time and and uh, it's just there's so much but there's just so much I guess it, I, I think he was so blessed uh, by God with with wisdom and he was able to articulate that and uh anyway this is what struck me at today and so as we've spoken and will always speak about the importance of renewing our minds um and 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 trying to be more focused on you know our our purpose which we spoke about Boy, did this jump out because this is fantastic. Okay, so in Romans, and I'm in Romans 12, and and uh and first off, let me just say the book of Romans isn't that big. It's it's kind of worthy of just reading it. I mean the whole thing because there's so many good messages in it. But for this morning, it says in 12, starting at verse 4, it says, for just as in one physical body, we have many parts. And these parts do not all have the same function or special use. So we who are many are nevertheless just one body in Christ. And individually, we are parts of one another, mutually dependent on each other. And yes, we are. We are. And and as I've I've always said, when we pray, let's unite our prayers. Uh, or you know, you know, or even God says as as you know, if there's any two people come together, two or more, you know, ask and and charge the the important part to the of this for me, Frank, is that we we all have gifts from God. We all have our our certain things that we're good at, and so we we're not all good at everything. It's somebody's better, you know, but others. But boy, when we unite and come together, the gifts that we have and the way that we can spread love. Love is the other part of this that was that that was so good, and it's down a little bit farther. But you know, love it, love is. Love is so many things, and, and there's great, great talk. But here in Romans 12, also down at, uh, in verse 9, it says, Love is to be sincere and active, the real thing, without guile and without hypocrisy. Hate what is evil and detest all ungodliness, and do not tolerate wickedness. Hold on tightly to what is good. 
Love is to be sincere and active, Frank. That truly is. When our minds get going in wrong directions or our thoughts get going in wrong ways, better steer it back to love because that is not what God had in mind for us. What's that scripture? What's that scripture? It's in Romans, and and this is in Romans 12. And 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 everything I read is in Romans 12. Uh, but as I said, the entire book of Romans is one worth worthy of uh, perusing. That is for sure. Um, like Romans in eight thirty eight, it says, "God's love for you is unlimited, and nothing can separate. Nothing can separate us, Frank, from that love." Romans in 12, 2, it says, allow your mind to be renewed to God's way of thinking. You will be transformed through this process and experience God's good and perfect will. Once again, Frank, every little issue that any of us go through can certainly be taken care of by actively making sure actively having love fill our hearts, which in turn, as we spoke to yesterday, then start coming out of our mouths are going to be just good words of affirmation, words of love, words of caring, compassion of, of everything for this world. And uh, I'm grateful for, for that love that God has filled us with, Frank. So okay. Frank, that's what I got, my friend. Well, Pat, that that really uh, uh, brings some things home to me. Uh, and in the recent study uh, that we did with uh, Union Chapel uh, Ministries in in uh, Muncie here, we focused on the uh, Sermon on the Mount, and there were some things that really struck me, and I I, I wasn't you know quite sure how to deal with them. One is uh, Jesus tells us, don't be like the Pharisees and stand praying in the street so that people uh, can, can see you and, and don't, uh, don't make a big deal when you give something, uh, when you do something good for the poor. But then he says, uh, Be be an example. Uh, don't you don't hide your light under a bushel. Uh, you're you're um, you know we're to be the city on the hill. And and I, I'm thinking on the one hand, we're not supposed to we're not supposed to brag, but on the other hand, we're not supposed to hide uh, our the the goodness that we share through uh, through His love. And I thought that's a pretty thin line to walk, and it is a thin line. Uh, that's the I think that's the narrow gate that we're to go through, and what it what it amounts to is we're not to we're not to fake anything, and we're not to uh, to uh, engage in any kind of pride or arrogance. We're just supposed to live a life of love and live it for real and um re, you know be repent of our sins we don't have to make a big deal out of it we just repent and accept his forgiveness but getting down into living the real life of uh following christ if if we're really if we're really focused on following him we don't have time to be arrogant uh we don't have time uh, to hide what we're doing. We, we just do it. And, uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's a, a simple way of living your life. And, 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 and that, uh, that really brought that home for me, you know, that we're supposed to, we're supposed to be the real deal. We're supposed to live a life of love and give credit to God and and just let people know that we're following Jesus. Yeah. 
So, Lord, uh, every time we get into the scripture, and and thank you for Brother Pat, uh, uh, the scripture comes alive. It speaks your truth to us. And, Lord, we thank you for this uh, uh, this time in the morning when we, we, you know, we make a video and we uh, speak from our hearts and we reach out to to our friends here locally and friends around the world. Uh, and, and Lord, uh, a special prayer for Aftab Patras, who lost his grandfather. Uh, he's very sad. And he's in Pakistan, and he is Aftab is in Pakistan. He is doing your work. He's going house to house, and and uh, uh, bringing people uh, to know you. And we we give you thanks uh, for Leonard Masungu, uh, for Brother Edward uh, Wafula, and Collins Wafula, and Kenya. Uh, these people, Lord, are, are able to, to reach people and, and we love them and, and encourage them and we ask your blessing for them. Uh, and for our friends that come by and, and leave a little like or a love or just, just come and visit. Don't, don't say anything, uh, to know that we are doing your will and that someone is benefiting from what we do is a great joy. And we thank you for that. Thank you for this day, Lord. Peace for the world, love for the world, and and uh, safe travels for Pat Baker as he gets out and about. And a lot today. And all in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, Frank. God, I love your prayers in the morning, that's for sure. I do have one thing to ask you, though, Frank. Yes. Speaking about hiding that light, you can't hide it under a bushel. Now, what what, what if he hid that under a bushel of biscuits? Do you think you'd find it? I, I would uncover it. <laughs> biscuit by biscuit. <laughs> Frank, I love you, brother. Have, have a you, great brother. day to everyone. God you know, you. In, a, in a pinch, I'd have to get me a pot of biscuit of uh, of uh, sausage gravy, <laughs> but I would uncover it. Amen to that. One at a time. All right. <laughs> Love doll. All righty. Love you, Pat. <laughs>